Welcome once again, this is D-Man with Quad V, bringing you League of Legends action once again. It is going to be, uh, it is Oh God Bears versus J-Pack and Friends. For uh, J-Pack and Friends as the blue team, it is going to be Blitzcrank, Malzaha, Shako, Corky and Tarek. That's going to be Onion, Bagel, Insana, Black Swan, Uniqlo and J-Pack. And for the purple team, uh, Oh God Bears, it is going to be Odia, Caitlyn, Rise, Javan and Janna. That will be Ghetto Fabulous, Mac Noon, Istvan, Fairy Cecil and Peter File. Peter File, got to be one of the best names I've heard for a while. So, uh, Jungler is going to be Shako, which, to be fair, you don't see a fat lot of lately. He's been nerfed through the floor, so it's going to be interesting to see how he works out. And Odia for the uh, Oh God Bears team. So, oh, we're seeing the new Rise skin as well, one of the newer white Rise skins. I, I love the fact that these do get to use their skins, so the uh, players, and uh, we get a clairvoyance down. We are viewing this from Rise's perspective, so anything he can see, we can see. <coughs> is how it works out using the League of Legends replay viewer. So, leagueReplays.com. Check it out, guys. There's plenty of replays out there. You can get them from CLGaming.net, from LeagueOfReplays.com, and uh, a fair view of a few other websites are starting to pick up on it also. Uh, the replays have been stocked up here, there, and everywhere. This looks like Oh God Bears is the, is the purple team, like I mentioned. It's the perspective we're looking at it from. Caitlin put pop a trap down. Yeah, careful of Blitz and Tarek, indeed. Can easily grab through. Clairvoyance does go down there, so possibly would have done a grab, so you can only assume they're stacked up on these middle reeds. 30 seconds until minions uh, so many lane-wise, I'm guessing Rise may well be mid. I mean, there's quite a lot of poke from both teams, really. Quite aggressive teams, not, not too tanky. Lots of assassins, lots of damage, lots of bursts, so we may well see a lot of action and a lot of deaths in this game. This is the first match. It is the NESL. I believe it's week four, this match. Week four, match one. Minions have spawned. So nothing really coming of it. Obviously, continuing to put another trap down. <coughs> I could put three traps out now, I believe. And Javan using his attack speed ability. Get a vision on the, w on the bush. So I think it's going to be a case of Rise does a few hits, pulls the golem, and Ghetto Fabulous finishes it off. There we go. So Whirlwind as well from Janna. So enough damage done on it. Get out of the way, Janna. Where are you going? It's going to go down the bottom. So Janna's going down the bottom with Jarvan, Janna, the JJ, against Blitzcrank, and I'm not too sure who else. Corky is mid, maybe switching it up there, Corky. In fact, no, I think Corky's just been called away to do a hit onto the dragon, onto Baron. Uh, Blue, Gollum, that's the one I want. Oh, no, they've switched. So Malzahar's gone mid against Rise, which means Corky's gone up top versus Caitlyn. So they've switched for the extra range and level things up. Malzahar comes up. He started with these uh, dot abilities, so he's put the dot straight onto Rise, which is why he's lost them hit points. For a minute there, I thought we hadn't got sound, which would have been quite annoying. Tarek's up top at the moment. So Tarek popping out. Tarek's roaming. So Blitzcrank on his own down bottom at the moment. Keep your eye on the dragon. Uh, on the jungler as well, sorry. See if he pops out. So Caitlyn took First a bit of damage. Blood. First blood does go down. It's Janna that went down. I was not quite expecting that one so quick. So Peter Fall goes down on Janna. Must have pushed in. I can only assume got dragged in to the tower and flashed away. It did have flash, so I can assume the tower took a hit. It must have, because we saw Blitzcrank was here, so it must have pulled him in. Got a shot off the tower as well as the damage. And first blood to Blitzcrank. And I don't think... Oh, God, Bears were quite ready for that either. Tarek and Corky going roaming here. Trying to get a glimpse. But Caitlin puts a trap down. Tarek does come around the side there, so they're trying to interrupt... Ghetto Fabulous on Odir as much as possible. He yeah, has got the blue and red, so he's going to uh, take down those golems. They are still missing the trap there. Corky's just come back, so Corky's back to top. Tarek is just an appearance down the side here, so Tarek really making himself a menace at the moment. And there he is, coming around the side. Rise is going to uh, get away. Janna's come up in support. Jarvan's had to port away by looks of it, so Jarvan's been to purchase. He's got a uh, Philosopher's Philosopher's Stone he started with. So uh, interesting start from 
Him instead of going for the Doran Shield. Janna now needs to be careful. It's going to get stunned there, but the Whirlwing went out as well from Tarek. Tarek has also got uh, Shaka on him. Janna's going to go down again here. And Janna killed once again. Janna, just not the Roma that uh, Tarek and, and Co can be. He's got that, that Whirlwind, but it doesn't do half as much use. And Well, Shaka just happened to be there, so Shaka popping out. Caitlyn needs to be wary now. She's quite low health. If Tarek and Shako pop out on her, she could well be in trouble, which is why she's pinging. And there is Tarek. Tarek is going to come up. He's going to stun, but uh, Caitlyn managed to flash away just about in time onto the turret, ready and waiting for that one. Shako going into jungle now. And he's, uh, Adir's going to find him. Adir goes straight on him, gets that stun down, puts, manages to put a box down, which is going to fear up uh, Adir, so he's going to get away with that, no problem. <coughs> So meanwhile, down the bottom, Janna's returned. Janna's two deaths have not gone down probably too well for Ogod Bears. May well play a bit more secure now, a bit more defensive. Five minutes gone, two kills to J Pack and friends. And that's the blue team. And there is J Pack. It's J Pack doing the roaming on Tarek. He's got Shaka with him. So that ward's paying dividends at the moment. See the uh, oh, they can see Corky there. He's Corky that's dived in, got Caitlin. Caitlin was trying to tower dive, got caught out. So it's 3 0 now. J Pack and friends are on a mission here against Ogot Bears. Ogot Bears been caught out in the first five minutes. Three deaths. Meanwhile, Odia is stealing the jungle of Shaco. Now, where is Shaco? That's the question. He doesn't care. He's just stealing it all and leaving, just taking the main bits and leaving the, uh, leaving the minions. J Pack. Going to roam back. Unfortunately, that uh, if it wasn't for that ward, they may know a little bit more in advance, but they don't know that that ward is there. Down the bottom, I think we just saw Shaco coming down here. Yes, we did. So here comes Shaco, puts that box down. Clairvoyance goes down to get a glimpse. And uh, I think, if anything, that Blitzcrank got all cocky, expecting Shaco to come help, and then didn't. Caitlyn's saying, Tarek's been denying me so hard on the minions. And he is. j -Pack is roaming well. There is j -Pack once again in mid. He's only level 3, but he's got so much hit points. He's got the boots to roam around as quick as possible. So Janna's come up to uh, try and help out. We're seeing Corky coming in low health, but he wasn't. He was at full, but uh, managed to get taken down a little bit. Pops that ward down on River. So they're going to see that. He's going to come back because Tarek is probably en route. So Caitlyn Potts have trapped down, yet there is Tarek, makes an appearance straight away. When when a, when a someone turns around like that, all cocky, you know that there's somebody else coming. So they're going to go into this. No, they're not. Chandler's being very confident, I tell you, considering. There is Tarek. They're going to try and do a bit of damage onto Tarek there. Caitlyn's going to get a couple of shots as well. Not quite enough, though. Really not doing a fat lot of damage to him as well. So Royce is ported back. Jarvan's continuing to push on down bottom. He's got that Philosopher's Stone, remember, so he can be very aggressive in lane now. He's got all the health and mana regen he really requires. Just to keep on keep on punching, as it were. Malzahar is pushing mid. So Rise Oshima is going to go tanky, as uh, as Rise tends to. It's on the uh, Catalyst to start with. So eight minutes in. Adir is going to pop out to Malzahar now. Manages to get the stun in him. Rise is going to come in, trying to explode on his face. Not going to do enough damage, though, in time. Couldn't really get close enough. Does get suppressed there. Still not going to be a... Oh, he hit Adir, but he could have gone for Malzahar there. I don't think that would have took him incredibly low health. He's using a health pot. He's sticking around in lane. He's very ballsy. Janna's going to come in across the top there, heading back down towards bottom. Blitzcrank has gone missing, though, down bottom. So Rice needs to be a little bit wary here. Could get grabbed from the bush. He's got Tarek in around, so it'd be a double stun. Rice sticks around. Top is MIA. Cork is back, actually. He's, uh, never mind. So they're using, uh, Caitlin's using chat to uh, call the misses rather than comms here I've noticed so maybe they're not on comms I don't know Looks crank is back down the bottom and Bagel continuing to farm Malzahar I believe has returned back to base as Tarek holds mid for a short while so Shako yet to make another appearance <coughs> Odia continuing to roam around three deaths remember they had that ward down there uh, the, the 
Corky have put a ward down here as well, so they could see it. Yeah, top warded. So Medea's going to disappear off. He thought about going for the uh, Golem buff. Instead, he's going to go in for Corky. Cook's going to Valkyrie away. And all safe. No, nope. Zaha. He's showing his back on low health, but I thought he'd gone away. I don't know. He's, he's still low health, because we are looking at it from his fans' point of view in this game. So that is his actual hit point. So a little heal from Tarek there. Goes on his merry way. Mazahar can push the lane quite hard against Rise, but Rise does have that explode in your face ability. Caitlyn needs to be a little bit wary. She has got that ward down, so she's going to push top, but she's got to be so wary of Shaco popping out on her. Cover some ground quickly, and Tarek's been shutting her down well. She needs to be careful there. What's she doing pushing with so many minions? Uh, the minions lost already. They were charging in. Malzahar and Tarek once again in mid. They're trying to. J Pack's doing his best to deny wherever he can. Minion Bagel's was the target. Adir's going to come out. Slow goes down. Overdrive is on him. Ulti perfectly placed from uh, Jarvan there, but he's going to get grabbed towards the tower. I don't think he's going to get the damage. Mana Shield's surely going to proc in a moment, so he's not going to be able to go for it. He did manage to land it, but the flash was on from Blitzcrank. And good thinking just to turn around straight away and get a grab. Now, reversal as uh, Tarek comes down. Flashes in, tries to get a stun in him. Now, oh, Onion Bagel's very low on health here. He does have it. Shaco's in there as well. They split targets, so they managed to get a grab onto Udia. And Mana Shield does proc for, get for uh, Onion Bagel. He's almost acting as a distraction. Shaco does go down. A little bit suicidal there from JPAC and friends. So uh, diving in, JPAC came down. Shaco was there, but, you know, Blitz had already been damaged to almost the point where he couldn't really be in the fight. So immediately it was a... Th I guess they didn't realise that Janna was coming down behind. So immediately it was a three-on-two situation, pretty much. So they're going to go for Dragon. Ghetto Fabulous is tanking it as Adir. Getting the, the shield on from Janna. So I think they're going to get this Dragon down. We're seeing it at full hit points. Obviously it's not. They're hitting it for quite a while here. There we go. So Dragon, first Dragon goes to Oh God Bears, as well as that uh, first kill of theirs. So three won the kills and first Dragon now. So Oh God Bears really have a little bit of an advantage, I guess you could say. Mainly for the fact they've kept in lanes. Janna was the one that died twice, so that's not really missing too much because Janna's not getting the last hits, not getting the gold, not really pushing it too much anyway. So in the grand scheme of things, I've got Bears, <coughs> despite losing those first blood and first three kills, are not doing too bad. So Caitlyn's just put a trap down in the... Uh, in fact, there's a ward down, should I say in the river still. Probably put a trap down as well and backs away continuing to do damage while uh, the turret gets pushed. Man immune onto Corky is going to try and do a bit of damage onto Caitlyn. Caitlyn's going to have to back out of this one. Although saying that she's got triple uh, Doran's blade so she's got the hit points to be able to stand and fight which is exactly what she did. We're seeing no hit point blips at all by the way. <coughs> which is... Uh, Inevitable. What are we seeing? We're seeing a good job. I didn't see exactly what happened there. I must have missed something, but unless she's just referring to the dragon kill earlier on. No turrets went down. No nothing. I don't know what they were uh, happy with. Did I? Did I see? Uh, I don't know. I, did, I missed it. Unless. Unless a deer just died to minions there. I may have missed that. I'd have to rewind it and have a look. But uh, they're chatting about something. And they're making me look silly. 13 minutes gone in this game. Current advantage slightly with Ogod Bears. As uh, Blitz tries to get a grab onto Jarvan. Jarvan comes around the side. Shaco taking a look. And uh, I guess he's wary that there is a ward there. Tarek is there as well. Rai's going to have to back away. Could have been suppressed there by Malzahar, but <coughs> yeah, that Wilwin would have come straight in and interrupted him. So we're going to have a stack up here. Udir is just down on the wraiths. I'm sure if Tarek's aware of it. Tarek surely would have heard him. He's, he's, a, he's a noisy hero. I think he left us that. He's going to try and steal the red as well. Tarek was coming around. There we go. Clairvoyance goes down. Double Clairvoyance down. He's going to have to back away. Malzahar coming around the side. Janna's just going to get the whirlwind on him. 
No, Rise is going to explode in his face a little bit though. Shaka does pop out suppression onto Rise, and she's just used the whirlwind, so she can't do that. She's got the uh, hasn't even got her ulti up because she's only level five, so she couldn't do a fat lot to try and save Shaka uh, Rise there. But the Shaka mirror getting popped. Meanwhile, down the bottom here, Jarvan's coming. Oh dear, Tarek followed him down, tried to protect him. Shaka is going to come down and possibly get caught here. He needs to be wary. Pops a box down. That's going to try and... Yeah, he's just going to uh, be able to deceive away there through the dragon. And Blitz is coming up all bullshit with that overdrive running to try and block him off. Meanwhile, back in mid, Ryzer's return, full health. And Caitlyn is surely getting this tower down because Corky has gone missing again here. She's coming down. She's going to pop a trap down further down the lane. And I think this may well be the first tower. We're seeing it at full hit points, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be quite low turret now. And there it goes. So first turret goes to Oh God Bears, and it's Caitlyn that does it. So Caitlyn, one of those heroes, has been played quite a lot more as well. Obviously, the fact that it's in rotation, it kind of helps. But uh, she's, she's becoming a little bit of a pain now. So she's been balanced out a little bit. There's triple traps. Slight improvements on it. And uh, Malzahar's been caught again in mid there, trapped up, and Rise blowing in his face. Not quite got enough to take him down completely, but with that ulti still running, trying to bounce it onto him. Tarek comes up, gets the heal. Malzahar just used that suppress earlier, so I don't think he had his ulti up just yet. Maybe we'll be probably just about spawning. Shaco coming around the side there, trying to get a, a shot onto Rise. And Shaco's not been able to get too many roaming ganks. He had that one early. It's going to come down bottom you and assume because they've pushed up lane quite a bit. You can, get, you can see him coming down. They've got the wards well placed. Tarek's also there. Jarvan, you need to back out. It's exactly what he's going to do. Tarek, Janna's also going to back out. They know that Shaco is in that bush. And clear once again. As Shaco goes up to look for Golem buff. See if that's up. It's not. There's no minions whatsoever up and around here. Janna does come down. Tries to have a pop at Tarek. Tarek with the Oracle. There's a ping going on up top here. So Corky's being chased by... Idiot. Oh dear. Caitlyn missing the shot there. Corky actually turned around to be fair to go back into him. Shaco is around here somewhere. Shaco was around this jungle. May well have deceived the cross, but he'd have been spotted, surely. I didn't see whether he did or not. Nevertheless, we return, and Caitlyn still pushing, still farming quite happily solo on that side lane. Maybe where Shaco and Tarek are heading now. As is. I would say definite advantage to Oh God Bears as the purple team. OGD. And JPAC and friends, after really good early roaming, have not been able to make dividends. Corky losing out to Caitlyn up top. <coughs> as, uh, he's going to be able to do against the deer. Once the deer starts hitting about, yeah, this level pretty much, he, he becomes pretty strong, it has to be said, and just forcing Blitzcrank out of lane there. Well, so he can start. He's got the lifesteal on Tarek coming around the side there. Shaco box as well. Shaco was there. Clairvoyance down. Dragon is up now, so expect... Well, we can see Malzahar and Mal... Mal uh, Roy, sorry, crossing paths. Surely Malzahar, is he going to get the stun on him? Yes, he will. That's going to be Malzahar down. Oh, he's going to flash out just in time. Shaka's going to come down there. Tarek with him. Janna's going to come in as well. If he can land a perfectly timed whirlwind, it may well help. Not going to land, though. And they're going to have to both flash out here. And that's surely going to be the dragon now going to... Oh, God, Bears are going to pick up the dragon while they're there. I don't see why not. Jarvan is coming up. Jarvan's put the ward down, so he sees the box. Ulti coming from Janna. Healing you all up. And... Uh, well, they're going to try, and well, they know exactly which one the real Shaco is, and that's going to be an easy kill for Fairy Cecil there on Jarvan with his uh, his Q, his Lance, as it were. They knew exactly which one was the uh, the real Shaco. So unfortunately for Shaco, he kind of got caught out. And the rest of his team weren't with him, trying to get the steal on Dragon. And the mid tower may well go down here. Caitlyn's in a little bit of trouble on blue. She's going to have to ulti away. Blasting herself backwards. Does pop the ulti onto uh, Corky. We didn't see it doing any damage. We know it did, though. Bit of damage on mid, and it is going to be Malzahar. They're surely in trouble again. He's going to go down this time, and it's going to be Isvan that picks up the kill rise. And nearly the whirlwind from uh, Janna, nearly stealing the kill. 18.50 into it. Second tower going to go down. Second dragon gone to OGD. And OGD starting to get in the driving seat here. Shaco is uh, respawned. 
Meanwhile, Jarvan continues on bottom, continues his harassment of Blitzcrank. We've seen Blitzcrank at uh, low health, but I think he will have uh, regen that. That's from last time we saw it with uh, Rise down there. Istvan porting away. 3-3, three, three, all square in minion kills. Actually, maybe he is that low, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he really is. We're seeing Slow's coming out, poking it, Proc the Mana Shield as well there. So Mana Shield now used up. So yeah, he's going to have to port away. Is that Wilbur going to catch him in time? Is he going to port away? Ooh, just nearly, 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 nearly. As you can see, he put his... Uh, ready to dive him, really. Jarvan there. Jarvan needs to be careful. Tarik and Shako were around here. Jarvan's probably built himself pretty tanky. Yeah, double Philosopher's Stone now, so... And uh looks like the Randians may be coming out as well. So Corky and Caitlin continue on. Their uh, never-ending battle up top. A battle of the attack damages. Shaco was around here, which is where Rise is going looking. I think Rise may be moving down to push bottom. They need to be careful. They've left mid completely empty here. There were two here summoners here. The, uh, the waves are there. So there's just a couple of Shaco uh, boxes en route. So Shaco was around here. <coughs> so Istvan's going to pick up a bit more farm. Minion-wise, 168 to Caden, 163 Jarvan. Farming well down the bottom there. 147 to Cork, 130 to Malzahar. 121 to Adir and uh, Rise as well. So massive farm advantage currently for, for OGD. Caitlin's return to top. She's got Corky and Tarik on here. She's diveable, has to be said, which is why Udir's making his making fast tracks up there on the way. Because if Shaka was there as well, she would have been diving. Oh, just missed it down the bottom. It was Shaka that actually got killed by Jarvan. So Shaka down. He may well have been diveable. Meanwhile, Malzahar's in a little bit of trouble. It's going to come out. Wilwin's just a missing. Uh, couldn't quite get the slow on him either. And that may well be the bottom turret down. Rice had gone down there. That's the bottom turret gone. So this fan comes down, supports, and that is three turrets down. All I have the turrets down for J Pack and friends. This is NESL National ESL Premier League action. Top teams all in the OGD. There was CLG and Rock Solid, who are currently uh, top of the league, I believe. Rock Solid yet to lose a round. We'll see how they do later on because I'm going to be casting them next um, they play I believe they played the Korean team I'm not too sure um, we'll see what happened in that one but first three weeks they hadn't lost a round well COG I think lost a single round to I forget who so they're second at the moment anyway nevertheless Caitlin is uh, taking a peek puts a ward down on Gollum and OGD push the mid turret. Rise comes out there, Malzah doing whatever he can to try and prevent it. Dot goes on to Udir. Udir just turtle shields up and says, I'm off now, thanks. He's going to come up, he's going to possibly catch Shaco. Caitlin's in there as well. Tarik goes in and they take the ward down. Shaco needs to be careful, he gets stunned up. Whirlwind going to come through, is it? No, we're not going to get him quite in time though. Caitlin. Uh, has got his ulti on him. Oh, a bit blocked by uh, Corky there. Caitlin. Flash through. Oh, Blitz grand a grab on Rise there. But to flash straight out of it. That was ready and waiting. This is Jarvan's finally going to come in. It was going to cut through the middle of a lot of them. Shaco's low on health. Shatarik's low on health. Corky's low on health as well. Ultying onto Corky. Use it, use your ulti again to clear the, uh, the block there from Jarvan. And nobody, would you believe, actually died in that encounter. Unbelievable. Shaco is a... Uh, just been spotted up the top there. He's trying to get away. Minions are all on him. They're ghosting up. He's going to try and tower dive. Trying to dive up. Wants to get anything on him before he manages to hit it. And Jarvan's surely going to get the kill. Oh, he's deceived away just in time. Straight to a turret. And that's going to be a turret death. Well done. So saving the gold there, Shaco. And, if anything, pulled, pulled the whole OGD team, OG B team away from the turret, which is... Bit silly, really. They had a five man on a turret when there was only two on that turret. They could have probably took the turret instead. They chased the Shaco kill. That's how much torment Shaco did to players in the early days of League of Legends. 
They see a kill possible on Shaco. They they drop everything. Go for it. We're seeing Corky at absolute no health here. He's full. There we go. Bang. Blips up. And now oh, J Pack in friends. No, not going to put a push on this uh, turret. So Rise continues to uh, farm. We're seeing Rise has picked up the Banshee and the uh, tier. So and uh, Sorcerer's Shoe. So. Doing that tanky build that he tends to. Dragon is due. There it is. Bang. Right on time. Caitlin shows that they have that ward in there, which just just actually been cleared out. We've got Jarvan and Janna just above, so are they going to go for this dragon? Meanwhile, Rise pushes the side lane. Split push with Rise. So interesting one. Normally it'd be Caitlin doing it, but it is Rise. We need to be careful it doesn't get grabbed there as they get pulled away from the action by the uh, the teleport of Rise. Caitlin continued to try and put the damage on it, yet the rest of the team didn't seem to be interested. They may well steal the uh, dragon kill here. Yes, they will. They're going to steal it. Why? Now, no, they're not. They're not wanting it. Didn't want any of it. They weren't there as a team. <coughs> that was a little strange because they got positional advantage before that happened. So, JPEG and friends pick up their first dragon. A little bit of strange play from OGD. weren't quite. We're feeling comfortable that they were set up there. I don't know. They didn't have Rise with them. They're 4v5 at the moment. So they need to be a little bit wary as they go chasing in. Odir's dart, dart, charging in. As the uh, the target on Shaco had actually kept him visible during the deceive there. I never knew that. I never knew that, was, that happened. So Shaco's out there. Beware. Just around there, and Adir needs to be careful. He's got the whole team on him now. He needs to be very wary. The whirlwind's going to come in, and wow, just all acting as bait, really. He's managed to steal the red as well. Uh, Blitzcrank may well go down in the process. Mana Shield gets procced. He's going to get taken down. A big leap of Damashia from Jarvan finishes him off. Shaco is also going to go down as well. Shaco does go down to rise, and the Corky in a little bit of trouble. Adir's thinking it may well tank the turret, but uh, Tarek's going to come in in process, and now the uh, little bit of Danger for Adir there. He did have Janna with him all the way though, so Adir is going to get the ulti heal from Janna, and the turret is going to go down in mid. So inner turret on mid, and I think the bottom inner turret may well go down as well because Jarvan and Caitlyn are knocking that down, and that is two inner turrets. As all while it was all just happening for purely for the lizard buff, would you believe? That's all triggered from. So after being in a position where they should have got the kills but completely backfired and they may well go for a Baron as well here. Yeah. It wouldn't surprise me. The rest of the team going to come over. Yes, they will. They're going to set up. We'll have ourselves a Baron. The uh, J-Pack and friends are spawned. The turret at the top is being hit by a minion wave, but it doesn't really matter. They're going to come down. The J-Pack and friends going to try. Oh, Malzar's immediately got an ulti on him. Blast in there. Tar um, Jarvan goes diving in. And Blitzcrank, well, then where is the rest of the team? They are around the side here. They've gone in split sideways. And don't think they're going to get Blitzcrank there because he's got his mana shield proc. It did actually prevent them getting the Baron, but I think they can just go back. They're still all at full health. So Malzar getting absolutely splatted there by uh, splitting two by Jarvan and Caitlyn. And I think Rai's finished it off. 7-3 the kills. Two inner turrets down. Corky comes a looking, but I don't think he's going to do any problem and that's going to be the Baron buff going to Exalted Exalted with Baron Nasher is the exact uh, thing I don't sure what's Exalted about it because you know normally that's like a reputation <laughs> Exalted the fact that I've killed it so let me show up first after Red so Kenan's, uh, <coughs> I think this may well be the last push to be honest 28 minutes in Baron two inner turrets down a minion wave building on top. Caitlyn's going to uh, grab the red. Uh, what's Caitlyn been aboard? She put herself a bloodthirster on her last whisper. I haven't really looked at the items. I uh, apologise for that. Riggles and Trinity. Plenty of hearts of gold. So when we are on the normal, so hearts of gold not using the armour on this one. The, it does vary between which one I'm going. Oh, wow. Interesting build. So, Frozen Heart, two philosophers which he had early on, and a Trinity now. So. Very much hybrid from uh, Jarvan, so which is probably why he's putting out a bit more damage. So it looks like he's going to follow the super min. Actually, he didn't get super minions because they didn't get the inhib down. Follow the stack wave. I think it's all going to be distraction to take the side turret, unless they do manage to get enough poke on the uh, mid turret there. 
We're going to have a massive minion wave there in a moment. Jarvan's pushing the bottom wave, which is where they're going now. Grab went out onto uh, Ryze, but he's got Banshee's Veil up, which is why he didn't pull him down. They do have that big stack wave at the top, which is probably going to pull some members of j -Pack and friends there. And that surely is going to be a big push on the bottom now. So, yeah, there we go. So he pulled Tarek away. So Tarek had gone up there to clear it. And now they're going to get a lot of damage quickly onto that mid turret. The uh, damage shield gone on to Caitlyn, didn't it? I didn't see where, who it went on to, but it went down rather quickly regardless. And Caitlyn finishing it off. Meanwhile, Adir is going to cut off Tarek at the top here. I'll quickly flick to that in a moment while this all happens here. You can see he's uh, going on to him. I don't think he's going to get the finish on him. Inhibitor does go down. He's going to continue chasing him. I don't think he may well get the kill on him here. So Tarek's going to back away. He's got to be careful. The rest of the team are coming across. So Diaz surely going to go down and pay that with his life, his uh, greed, as it were. But it's also bought him time to take down the second inner turret, the uh, second base turret, should I say. Jarvan's going to come across there. Pops is slow. He's going to get suppressed. They're going to have to get the turret down to come and help him. He pops, he's got the damage shield on him. Meanwhile, oh, they're going to turn around. They're going to absolutely explode on Rise there. Malzahar's also been careful. Going to back away. Jarvan goes diving in. Absolutely nearly gets slaughtered, almost diving to his death there. Malzahar goes down. Corky goes down as well. Istvan bouncing on both of them there. Getting that beautiful rebound. That's going to be the inhibitor down. And surely now GG because it is 9-5. Second inhibitor going down. Super minion wave not quite there yet. So they're not going to have enough to... Uh, go in and take out the two base turrets, the two inner turrets, base turrets, but uh, outer base turrets now down. Stack wave, not really enough to take down that, and that is a surrender. So, GG. This is D-Man with Quad V, bringing you all the League of Legends action, Oh God Bears versus JPEG and Friends. That's match one of the NESL.